minoxidil FAQs. Hi, I'm Dr. Priyanka Reddy, Founder, Medical Director and Chief Dermatologist at DNA Skin Clinic and Wellness Center. And in today's video, I will be answering the most commonly asked questions on minoxidil. So the first most common question is, does minoxidil cause hair fall? Well, this might be confusing because you're using minoxidil to uh, promote new hair growth or control the hair fall or hair thinning that you're experiencing. But yes, minoxidil can cause increased hair fall when you start using it for a couple of weeks. This is called as minoxidil shedding and this happens because of the way minoxidil works right so minoxidil promotes um, blood circulation to your hair and causes new hair growth and controls hair thinning so but when it starts to act why does it cause more hair fall because it stimulates the growth of new follicles so what happens is the hair grows in a cycle there is a growth phase resting phase and then a shedding phase so when the hair is in the resting phase there's a new hair that is being stimulated the growth of new hair is being stimulated here and this hair pushes the resting um, hairs and makes them shed so when you start applying minoxidil locally this promotes the new hair growth in that area and many follicles together start shedding at once which is why you experience more hair fall um, but then the good news is that this is just um, a phenomenon that was anyways going to happen so the follicles were anyways going to shed but then the minoxidil is making the process more fast and only for good because it is promoting the new hair growth now for about two to three months you will not see this new hair growth on the surface it takes about two to three months for this to become visible onto the surface so you need to use minoxidil consistently for about four to five months to see the good results that minoxidil has to offer so in summary yes minoxidil shedding is common but this is a temporary transient phase and it is not causing permanent hair fall it is only going to shed the follicles that were anyways going to shed to promote the new follicular growth so this is normal and nothing to be worried about and definitely not a cause for you to stop using minoxidil so the next question is how often should we use minoxidil once or twice a day well this is a very important question because i have seen some people using it twice a day which absolutely is not required because when you look at uh, the studies the uh, half-life of minoxidil uh, that is when you apply minoxidil it's it it shows its effects for about 18 to 22 hours that is half life of minoxidil is 18 to 22 hours so there is no need for you to apply um, minoxidil twice a day it's not going to give you any additional benefit rather if you have irritation or oil or greasiness with minoxidil only these Efforts are going to be enhanced, but the positive sides of minoxidil are not going to be, uh, you know, significantly better when you use twice a day. Instead, you use it once at night. And if you still want to do something more for your hair, you can use peptide based hair growth serums in the morning, uh, you know, to complement the effects of minoxidil and to have a better result. But using minoxidil twice a day is not required. Once a day at night application is enough. The next question is how long to leave it on? Um, so ideally I would ask you to leave it overnight. Um, let it sit there. But otherwise if you do not want the minoxidil greasiness onto your hair um, or if you are in a rush you can apply it. Leave it on for about an hour at least because most of it would have seeped in by then and you can go ahead and uh, you know take a shower but ideally leave it overnight if you're in a rush one to two hours is also good enough the next question is where to use minoxidil where all can i use minoxidil so you can pretty much use minoxidil everywhere you want the hair growth to be enhanced so you can use it on your scalp beard eyebrow areas not um, heavily recommended to use on eyelashes because it can cause irritation onto your eyes but otherwise these are the areas that you can definitely use minoxidil but you must understand and remember this minoxidil can stimulate the growth of existing hair follicles which means when you want to improve the growth on the beard area, there should be some existing follicles for the growth to be pronounced. Otherwise, when you have no follicles, it is definitely not going to promote the hair growth. The next question is what happens when we stop using minoxidil? Well, what happens when you stop using minoxidil is that the good effects of minoxidil seeds to show, which means um, it works by promoting the blood circulation to your hair. So it is making your hair more thicker and more denser. So once you stop, the positive effects of it also starts reversing. So you tend to see that your hair thinning is becoming a progressive condition. But if you've used it for a very long time and you want to stop and see how it's working for you, most definitely can do it. And once you start uh, experiencing um, you know that your hair is thinning um, and you want to hop on to minoxidil you can definitely do it again but usually this is what happens when you stop using minoxidil is that the posture effect ceases to exist 
So the other question is oral minoxidil or topical minoxidil. Well, um, I am more of a topical minoxidil advisor because oral minoxidil, the effect of oral minoxidil is mostly generalized, right? So when you take oral minoxidil, you cannot confine the results, which means you cannot target particular area for hair growth. So you can tend to see um, hair growth being stimulated anywhere the hair follicles exist. Uh, but when you use topical uh, minoxidil and you apply and you tend to see the growth of the hair only in the areas where you apply in most cases there are some paradoxical um, hair growth that can be stimulated in certain cases but by and large um, the results are localized and precise so if you want your hair growth on the scalp you apply it on the scalp or on the beard you target the beard area but then when you use oral minoxidil generalized um, hair thickening can happen and the other thing that can happen is also uh, you know it can work on your blood pressure as well um, so you have to be very mindfully taking oral minoxidil only and only under the guidance of your dermatologist and not to be self-prescribed at all. Yes, but in case where you do not want to use topical minoxidil for reasons like headaches or local irritation, even then um, you can check a previous video that I would be tagging towards the end of this video where I've spoken about uh, topical liquid minoxidil versus foam preparation. So in after trying all of this, you still do not want to use topical minoxidil. You most definitely can try oral minoxidil. Um, in the same percentages, the results are comparable, but only under the guidance of your dermatologist. And a few other important points when it comes to applying minoxidil is when you're applying topically, make sure that you put it onto the scalp and not the hair. There are some case, a lot of times what happens is people just use the minoxidil spray and spray it just like this and then rub it off. So you're mostly applying it onto the hair and it's not penetrating into the scalp. And of course, you will not see results. Um, that is one. And when you're applying minoxidil, please apply it again, like I said, onto the scalp and let it not seep onto the face. So just tilt your head a little bit, apply the minoxidil spray or drop or foam, whatever you want to apply. Gently massage your scalp and wash your fingers. And also, if there's any seepage onto the scalp, uh, onto the face skin, make sure you wipe it off in order to avoid irritation. Use it consistently. Um, once in a while, if you forget to use it for about three to four days, you should definitely not stop it altogether. It's okay even if you forget for three to four days, but make sure you start reapplying again. So be, by and large, try to be as consistent as possible, which is when you tend to see results. If you have any more questions on minoxidil, please put them below. Share this video with anybody who you think is facing hair concerns and are having questions about minoxidil. I hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe to the channel.